Bug bounty hunting sounds cool, right? Like modern day treasure hunting, but instead of a map and a shovel, you've got burp suite and a terminal. And when you see people dropping screenshots of $5,000 bounties or flexing on Hacker One, it's easy to think, okay, where the hell do I even start? Trust me, I've been there. It's overwhelming. Everyone seems like a 10x hacker with elite exploits, and you're sitting there trying to figure out if your payload should have a quote or a curly brace at the end. But stick around and I'll show you exactly how to make real progress, even if you're starting at zero. Here's the deal, you don't need to master everything before jumping in. That's a lie we tell ourselves to delay starting, you just need enough. Get comfy with tools like Burp, learn how parameters work, and understand how a basic web app flows. Add a bit of nmap scanning, some recon skills, and you're good to start poking around. But, and this is where most people mess up, they go straight to HackerOne or BugCrowd and start attacking massive hardened platforms with a sea of other hunters. It's like trying to catch a fish in a puddle everyone's already fished dry. Instead, start with vulnerability disclosure programs. No payouts, yeah, but also barely any competition. Goldmine for learning. And don't just shotgun every site you see, use targeted reconnaissance. GitHub has repositories like Bug Bounty Dorks, where you can use tools that align with the stack you're testing. Drupal site? Use a Drupal-specific word list. WordPress? Same thing. Don't be generic. The smarter your recon, the higher your chances. That's why, if you're serious about cybersecurity, you can join our free academy to level up your skills today. Whether you're a complete beginner who's never touched Linux, or someone who's already working in the field, we've guaranteed got something that'll be worth your time. Click the link down below, sign up for free, and we can't wait to see you on the inside.